Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, um, it said it's been a while since I've sat down on camera and like done makeup or talk about products. Um, besides my get ready with me, I wanted to do like a get ready with me. I'm not gonna be talking as much as I usually do because um, I want it to be like a favorites video. So I will just kind of be running through some things that I've been loving lately, show you why I love them, and of course, talk you through it while I'm applying it. I have a lot of new stuff here, some old favorites as well. I just want to let you know that I am still loving them. So we're going to do a little skin prep first. I just wash my face. Um, so we just got bare skin here. I'm a little dry right here. So I'm a little worried about how the makeup's going to sit right there, but we'll power through. Um, so I still love the Astrum Bay Ava Eye Serum. Mine is almost done. I need to repurchase this. Because what I like about this is I like it for morning and night. Um, I've been, just been using it in the morning because for night I've actually been testing out this 100% pure multivitamin antioxidants PM um, eye cream. And it's not a cream. I don't know why they're calling it a cream. It's very much an oil. Um, very similar to the Asterin Bay. Just uh, thicker and geared towards the nighttime. So I've been using that. So I'm testing that. My under eyes look super dark right now. My sleeping schedule has been a little messed up. Um, but relatively new product as well, the Josh Rosebrook Hydration Boost Concentrate. I have also been loving this. This is just a serum um, formulated with just the best of the best ingredients. And what I really like about it is it gives you um, a very like moisture shot kind of to the skin. And I'm going to focus in on the dry areas here. I'm not going to work it around the skin. Another product that I do like to use morning, noon, and night. Very lightweight on the skin. Absorbs very quickly, but helps with that whole hydrating process that Lord knows I need it. So relatively new on Aster and Bay. I've loved forever. Um, I don't know how much I've spoken about this on camera. I've used this for a long time now. The Agent Nature Holy Oil. I'm really big into Agent Nature as a brand. To be honest with you, a lot of their products and my skin just go together. So I'm taking the oil, just a couple of drops, take three drops, I'm just warming it up. And then I'm just going to apply this to the skin. Again, this has vitamin C in it, which is just an ingredient I really like. It'll help lighten any sort of um, hyperpigmentation on the skin. Um, but ultimately, I love that this oil feels a little bit thicker. If you're familiar with the Demamiel oils, I also love the Demamiel oils for daytime because they have this dry oil texture to them almost where they absorb really immediately. This one has like a thickness to it. It's almost viscous in texture. And I just really like the way that um, it looks underneath makeup, especially the next product that we are about to jump into. Um, so I cannot get over how in love I am with the RMS Beauty Uncover Up Cream Foundation. I am obsessed with it. Um, and my, it's actually really agreeing with my skin. So my skin's really funny. It gets clogged pore sometimes. I don't really know, but I've used this really continually and I haven't noticed anything out of the ordinary, my skin is by no means perfect, but I haven't noticed the congestion that I normally do. So I take like this much product on the back of my hand, just come with this little metal spatula applicator, and I do use the shade 22, perfect, perfect, perfect match for me. Now this is a really nice medium coverage foundation. Um, you really don't need a lot of product. Looks incredibly natural on the skin. The way they market it, I feel like it makes people who have oily skin like wary of it i don't think you need to be but i don't think you need to over apply it either because then it will be like more transferable you do want it to kind of soak into the skin beauty sponge of the moment that i'm loving this from eco tools i am in love with this one i know tati was talking about it for a long time um but i am officially on this bandwagon. So I'm just gonna tap this into the skin. I've done a full review of this on the Integrity Botanicals channel, so if you wanna know like details, um, you could go there. But the reason why I love it is because it's easy to apply. It gives you like this crazy flawless finish without you looking overly made up. Like I can't get over the amount of compliments that I received on this foundation. Like I even went out to, to get my hair done and my hairstylist was like, oh my God, your skin looks perfect. What are you wearing? And uh, you know, I've been going to my hair, getting my hair done 
from her for years and she doesn't really comment on the makeup. We're both like clothes people so we talk a lot about the clothes but she gave me a really nice compliment on my foundation and that was this guy right here. So it is like the most natural perfecting foundation. A decent amount of shade range, a uh, decent shade range as well which I really like. Um, that way it has the furthest reach so everyone can use it but it's beautiful. Highly recommend at least trying a sample and Integrity Botanicals has a really good sample program. You get three free with every order and then they do have some samples that are available for purchase if there's something you just want to try and you're not really looking to repurchase anything else. So something to keep in mind. So I'm just going to keep on tapping this in, building it up just a little bit in the center of my face and then we'll kind of move on from there. Before we move on, I just wanted to really get in here so you guys can see. You can see that there's still texture on my skin. You can still see a little bit of things peeking through, like I'll probably add a little concealer there. But just look at how nice it sits on the skin. I even told you I was worried about the dryness here. Didn't sit very poorly there at all. It just looks so natural, yet my skin looks really good, you know what I mean? Forehead, boom. I just wanted to show you that super quick before we move on. All right, so powder and concealer, we're just gonna do this really quick. These aren't new, but they are favorites. Always, always, always. I'm a really big creature of habit because powder and concealer is something I find increasingly difficult to find, especially the older that I get because I am noticing that makeup does sit differently underneath my eyes. So I am going in with the Fit Glow uh, Conceal Plus. I wear the shade C3. I'm not really into brightening the under eyes so much anymore as just getting it all even. Um, sometimes I will go in with a different shade just in the inner corner and add a little bit of that. I'm just going to put a tiny bit on my eyelid as well to kind of cancel it all out because we're looking very discolored and I'm just going to bounce into the skin as well. If you're unfamiliar with the Fit Glow Concealer, it is the most natural looking immediate coverage concealer that I have yet to try that does not sit in fine lines, wrinkles, and exacerbate any of that. That works well with any foundation and again, has a pretty decent shade range that is being continually expanded upon, which I love. Now, once I do concealer, I can't help but like a little bit of a face mist. I have more dry skin, keep that in mind. So I'm always here for this step. Um, oops, I was about to go in with Maya Chi the Optimist. I meant to go in with the Max and Me, the Intuitive. I love this mist. So fine, smells amazing and helps the skin look even more gorgeous. So I'm just gonna quickly apply that. Then my powder of definitely the year, I can't get over how much I love this, is the 100% Pure Bamboo Blur Powder. Again, if you follow me for any length of time, you know I love this, but if you haven't, it is a, um, it's a, what else is in here? There's two ingredients. No, it's just bamboo silica, that's what I meant. Um, so it's bamboo silica, and for whatever reason, this looks so natural, yet mattifies the skin. It is magic. And it's a completely translucent powder. It is loose, but it has this awesome little like uh, netting. So it just kind of bounces. I do still like to knock some product out so I can kind of load it up on the brush. But I'll just take that on my eyelids, under the eye, a little bit on the T-zone as well, but I will keep everything else the way it is because I'm gonna go in with bronzer and things like that so that will help aid in, in the setting process, but if you need a really good powder that again doesn't ex uh, accentuate fine lines, wrinkles, that is the one to go for. Um, so we're gonna move right into bronzer. Bronzer, new from Vapor. Vapor 2.0 just launched. I don't know how much you guys know about um, the rebranding. Um, they've released a ton of new products, got rid of some old stuff, formulated some new stuff, new products in general, repackaged absolutely everything. So all the new packaging for the most part is magnetized, which I think is great. And then this is the bronzing powder in a clip. So this is a new product for from them. It is the only shade, so of course it's not gonna work on everyone, but they did the best job. This is a, for a more light to medium skin tone, as you can see. They did the best job at making a powder that's not overly pigmented, that is not too orange, and is not too tan. So I can imagine you going in with this to contour, honestly, despite its slight bit of warmth. In the pan, you will see that there's a little bit of shimmer in there that doesn't really pick up on the skin. If anything, I, help, I think it helps aid in that incredibly natural look, which I love. So I take this everywhere, all over, very, very liberal, beautifully pigmented, like where it's just enough, but not like, oh, I gotta like erase. 
You know what I mean? So I like to take this right here. And you can see how it immediately just gives some color to my very flat skin after that perfecting RMS foundation. So a step that I still like to do, and I can't believe how much I have used this product. Do you remember my found video that I did? I don't really reach for a ton of the found products anymore. I'm going to be honest with you now that new products have come in my life. And I feel like I'm a creature of habit more than ever. Um, but I love this lightning powder in the Sculpted Define palette from found. It's just a little Walmart brand on the more natural side. Shide side not completely perfect but this color is so great and what I love it for is like I'll take like a dense brush as a little air Perez and I'd like it to clean up under where I bronzed to almost make it look like I contoured even though I don't really focus on contouring too much then again if it's dark underneath my eyes I'll add a touch of this and it really does just make it the tiniest bit brighter and it's a really beautiful soft powder so I find that it doesn't um it doesn't, again, make uh, any of the fine lines or wrinkles kind of look accentuated. But what it does accentuate is my sort of cheekbone. So I don't have an incredibly defined jawline um, at all. So I like to sort of accentuate the cheeks as much as I can because I definitely got a little cheekbones happening. So that's like the main base done. We're going to go into highlighter now. You know, I like to do contour, highlight, then blush. I think that's the most seamless way to do it. Um, but I've been really liking this little combo of cream highlighters, one of which is a new product from Alima Pure. It does come in a duo, but this one is in the shade Alchemy, and they're these really cute little cream highlighters. And though that's very small compared to a typical highlight, I don't mind it because I think that's all I'm really going to use, especially before the product goes bad. So I'm just taking the shade Alchemy. These remind me a lot of the Kierweiss highlighters, so they have that more dry cream finish that I think looks super natural on the skin and then the glow picks up in the light I think beautifully without being like oh my god that's like intense and crazy so I think really anyone can use this product and it blends in seamlessly so I first like to go in with this and then we are going to layer so once I go in with alchemy which you can see I mean it's already beautiful. Um, I go, I'm going in with just a touch. This is the new Ritual Defeat highlighters. These are stunning. They are more glittery, but I think if you just add a touch on top of a highlight, it really gives the most gorgeous effect. They have some more exciting ones. I will probably be reviewing these on the Integrity Botanicals uh, YouTube channel as well, so definitely hop over there and subscribe so you don't miss it. But this is one shade in The Sorcerer, and I'll see if you can really the pan has this already crazy shine. Um, so this one's more silvery, but it reminds me of like the Fenty highlight. So I'm gonna take this just at the highest points of my cheek. And it's really gonna add that bling bling that I kinda want. And we're just gonna keep it on the cheeks. I'm gonna leave the center of my face the way it is. And I'm gonna go here. Oh my God. So these are definitely meant to be used more sparingly. I mean, use it however you want. I'm just saying um, they are gl more glittery. So sometimes that can be a little bit more trickier to sit nice on the skin. But look at that. Ah! I am beaming. I love it. I love it. I love it. So I want to talk about two blushes that I'm loving. Um, I'm not going to use this one. This is the Kosa's. You know, the Kosa's blushes are the best blushes I mentioned them in my favorites of last year. They're absolutely my favorites of this year as well. If I only had the Kosas blushes, I could do just fine. Um, but the shade Papaya 1972 is the shade that I am in love with right here. And I think it looks a little bit scary in the pan, but when you swatch it, it's just beautiful and gives the most beautiful, it's this one right here, vibrance and warmth to the skin and it goes with a lot of different eye looks. Today, since we did cream highlight, I am gonna go in with a cream blush, Coco Berry from 100% Pure, another one of my all time forever favorites. I love this cream blush formulation in general, so any shade that you choose, but this is a really beautiful um, terracotta peachy warm shade that is just looks good no matter what I have going on in the eyes, so I tend to always gravitate Towards this one, blends beautifully, easy to reapply and touch up if necessary. It doesn't last all day, all day. Cream blushes, blush is just a tricky product for me in general, but 
this one definitely um, withstands the test of time and like I said it's so easy to reapply and nice and compact that I will just throw it in the purse so I'm just adding a little bit of that starting at the front and then I'm gonna blend it back I like a pretty heavy blush look these days so I'm going in pretty liberally and this is such a natural shade that you can really afford to do that then I'm going to go with just a touch over the bridge of the nose I love doing that as well all right so we're gonna do eyeshadow so I zoomed you guys in I am in love 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 with the Aether palette so this is gonna be the predominant product I'm using something that I pulled out from the depths that I loved a while ago but the colors are giving me the Tati Beauty palette I brought this out I may or may not go in here not too sure that's an older favorite um, but the current favorites are absolutely the Aether Beauty specifically um, here I have the which one is this the Rose Quartz Crystal Gemstone palette I love this shade right here to start out the crease so I think that's where we will begin and I'm just going with a little wet and wild eyeshadow blender brush get this from your local drugstore so I'm just gonna go in here and do the usual we're gonna be doing the usual eye look just using some products that I really love so these just have such a beautiful softness to them and blend so nicely I cannot even take it so we're doing that all right so I actually find that the Rose Quartz and the Summer Solstice palette, which is limited edition, I don't know if this is still around, but if you snagged it, it's so great. I'm gonna go in with this deeper shade right here, and that is the shade, what's the name of that one? Balance, which is in the same family as the one I just used. It's just a little bit darker, and I'm just gonna pop that on the outer corner. So I like to lay down the product, and I'll go in with that same brush that I was just putting the initial color on, and you will see how beautifully they blend. No extra product, by the way. I'm just gonna go with what's left over on the brush. And what I've been liking to do is I want to do, do a little haze of orange just around because I'm gonna go in with orange on the bottom lash line. So for that, we're gonna go in with Victoria. That's also a Sappho shade. I thought I was gonna dip into the Inica, but I think I'm just gonna do this one instead because realistically, this is the one I use nine times out of 10. So I'm just taking a little Luxie brush and giving a soft little whisper of that just like right on top of it just so a little orange is peeking through and then before i take it on the lower lash line i'm going to take whatever like i have a little bit of foundation left on my hands i'll go use that on the sponge and then i'm liking to use this pointed edge to just kind of completely clean it up i like this type of look and i always have but just very much so right now so it just helps it look a little bit neater because I'm blending very wide and big and and blending like that's the reason why a lot of people do like to go in with their foundation first that's never been for me but I understand why someone would like to do that so then I'm just gonna go in um, again with Victoria and I am going to connect the bottom to the top like this all right, so now I'm gonna go in with this beige shade. This is in the Summer Solstice palette. This is in the shade New Moon. And I'm just gonna take a flat shadow brush and I'm just going to pack this all over the lid, like three fourths of the way, because I don't wanna ruin any color deposit that I added to the right, edge. So I'm doing another extreme close up. I want you to see the softness and how nicely blended they are. That is a good quality eyeshadow and that's why I'm so obsessed with these palettes so moving right along I'm gonna go in I want a little something something in the inner corner and I love always love the antonym number 10 for an inner corner um, I'm actually going to go in to the rose quartz palette again this really pretty center shade in divine is going to be our inner corner highlight today so I'm just loading up the brush and then I like to do like this. I'll just kind of rub it, rub it, rub it right where it kind of nestles, like right in there. Gives you a nice little brightened effect. So once I do that, I'm going to go in with cellophane from Gressa. I've also shared this, but I really, really, really love the Gressa eye tints. Um, and this shade is one of my all time favorites. I like died when she first came out with it. So I'm just gonna load this up on a brush because I just want a very faint, little glitter veil right on top you can go with your finger as well if you prefer but the brush will give it a more 
diffused look. Really sophisticated, beautiful glitter that just picks up so beautifully in the light. I have loved using that for a long time now. Another vapor product, you know my favorite liners ever are probably the Antonym liners. I think they're fantastic. Um, but um, this liner from Vapor and Smolder, which is their brown, are ones that I have always loved. So I'm just taking a little bit of this, doing the usual. It's a very true brown, goes on nicely, more of a velvety formula. And then something else that I've loved doing forever, ever, forever, ever, is taking the Antonym. Antonym makes such good brushes, number 12 brush. And then I'll go in with that, with a deeper purple actually, sorry, not the same shade. Summer Solstice Palette in Sister. It's just this dark purple. And just because we're kind of going with that vibe, and I'm just going to kind of smoke it out, but just a little bit. Just a tiny little bit. You can kind of see what I did there. Look how much fuller my lashes look, like when you do that. Like, we'll never not do that. And if you notice, I pull it up like the tiniest little bit to look like, like a lash shadow or something. So you know I am in love with the Ficlo Vita Active Mascara and the Honest Beauty Combo. Really, really, really great. But I wanted to share with you a new one that I think is very worthy and I just wanted to share it with you on camera. So the Vapor Mesmerize Mascara, oh my God. One of their new products, because Vapor has never had a mascara before, this more fluffy applicator, which I tend to prefer as opposed to an overly plasticky one. It's not focusing that great on the brush. I think you kind of get the gist though. Um, anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this. It comes in one color, this is the black. And it just does such a good job on the lashes. Lasts a really long time, yet easy to take off. Kind of just ticks all the boxes, you know? So let's just do one quick coat here. One layer top and bottom. Can we talk about that? Look at how pretty, I can even leave it as is. I mean, I'm not, because more is more. But I just had to show you the first layer that we'll go in and apply some more so you can see that too. Okay, so we're gonna finish off with some lip products. Unfortunately, I only have one mouth and that makes me sad. But I wanted to share with you a few things that I have been loving. First of which, this Hurrah lip balm just came out and I just love all Hurrah balms. It could be any one you want, but Whenever I get a new scent or flavor in my life, it just makes me like, yes, this is the stuff. So I'm gonna go in with this. And what I've been liking to do, while I'm talking about lip balm, specifically this one's so cost effective and great, is I like to put on lip balm before I put on lipstick because it'll sheer it out. And I am not into a full lip look lately. I haven't been for quite some time. I'm so here for the glossy lips, all of that. So I'm just gonna kind of blend this in because you don't want it to be too creamy where the lipstick is just not getting any sort of grip at all and is doing nothing. The Vapor High Voltage Lipsticks, oh my God. Whether you wear it the way I'm about to or not are so good. The shades are stunning and I will be filming a video for Integrity Botanicals like very, very, very soon. So I do a lot of product, product reviews over there. It's not really my dig anymore. I like to do something more like this way where I can share a product with you, but I'm just kind of more shooting the shit and it's more casual. So the shade that I have been loving is the shade Pin Up. And this is so not a regular Ashley shade, but given all the shades, it makes you want to kind of play around with them a little bit more. So I think this is one of the matte finishes because um, there's a mix of matte and satin. I'm just going to go right over that balm that I love. And it's just going to give me a more sheer, less full on kind of look. And what I like is that this has a little bit of color to it. It's a little bit more brightening to my face. But what I will do is if I want a little bit more structure to the lip, the best lip liner ever is Red Apple Lipstick Barely Pink. This is one that I will just always have in the collection. So old favorite, I'll keep it in mind. And finally, my, my God, probably my favorite thing, most used thing, I can't get over these. The lip oils from Kosa's are on another M effing level. I am obsessed with them. I like every single shade. Pick whatever one you want. I wasn't gonna put it on, but I think I have to now. I'm gonna take the shade Malibu. They're, they remind me a lot of the Ficlo Lip Color Serums. I know that's why I love them. Colors are phenomenal. And they feel like they're actually hydrating the lips rather than this slimy, 
Vaseline layer that I just cannot really stand. So I'm just gonna go with a touch of Malibu. It's this more pinkened one. And I'm just gonna do a little bit of that. It makes the lips look so full and juicy. Oh my God. I'm like having a moment here. <laughs> These are so good. Like I can't handle them. Cannot handle. Oh my God. Like, come on. I might have to do a whole dedicated video to these products. I just had to put it out there that you need them. They are like the best thing in this video, probably. But um, that's it, you guys. This is my completed look. I am in love with it. I mean, this is what this is how I do my eyes. It's just changing of products. So I always like to share um, what current products I've been loving. I know it's been a while. Please let me know what you all have been loving. Can you believe? Ashley put out another video. Ashley might have her mojo back. Who knows? Um, anyway, I am, I'm so happy to be filming for you guys. I love talking about all of my favorite things, of course. Got a little tutorial thrown in there for good measure. But thank you so much for watching. Every single product that I talked about is going to be listed down below so you can check it out. Of course, let me know if it's something you've already tried and love as well. But let me know what your favorites are. What am I missing out on? What am I sleeping on? What do I need to be trying? Holler at your girl, all right? Um, but thank you so much for watching. Keep up with me on Instagram in the meantime, you guys. Thank you so much for all the love on my last video on me spending all my money at the thrift store because my boyfriend cheated on me. I'm happy you guys found the humor that I did in that video. I knew you would, you guys just get me. But thank you so much, thank you so much for watching and I will watch, I will watch you, I will catch you in the next video, bye. Oh